if you are looking to migrate data from Google's BigQuery to AWS, then Amazon AppFlow should be your first choice. Not only it is a managed service, but it is also very easy to set up and serverless. It has a Google BigQuery connector, which could come very handy. This connector in Amazon AppFlow streamlines the process of transferring data from Google's data warehouse, which is BigQuery to Amazon S3. You can transfer the data to Redshift or once it is in S3, you can put it anywhere. This integration really simplifies analytic and machine learning, archiving and long-term storage, providing significant benefits for data professionals and companies seeking to harness the analytical capabilities of both platforms, BigQuery and Amazon AppFlow and any service in AWS. Even if you are just looking to migrate or get away from BigQuery and you want to come to Redshift, or in S3, then this could be your first choice too. With Amazon AppFlow, as I mentioned earlier, the complexities of data in integration are eliminated, enabling you to focus on deriving actionable insights from your data. So you don't have to worry about schema mapping and a lot of other things. All you can do is just follow this prompt and you are good to go. Now, let me show you a quick overview as how you can do that. I am already logged into my AWS account. From there, go to Amazon AppFlow service and then click on Create Flow. Once you are here, scroll down a little and then just give any name to your flow. So I'll just call it my test PQ. And then a description. Just keep uh, your default values if you don't want to encrypt your data. And it's always a good idea to put in some tags and click on Next. Now this is the fun part. Select your source name, click here and type BigQuery and there you go. So we have a pre-built Google BigQuery connector and as you know, BigQuery is a serverless enterprise data warehouse. Select it, click on create new connection, give it any name, CP con, and then you, need, you would need client ID and client ticket. These are the OAuth client ID and client ticket, which you can grab from your GCP project uh, or your IEM. And if you don't know how to do that, I have another video, just search it and you'll find it. it's very easy. And uh, once you have it, then just put it here and then you can customize your encryption setting, which uh, you want to do with your KMS key or your uh, CMK, which is your customer managed key uh, for your security purposes. So that's it for this screen. And if you're still struggling to find client ID and client secret, go to support.google.com uh, and I will drop the link in video description. And then from there, these are the few steps which you need to do to in order to get your OAuth client ID. So all you need to do is to log into your GCP console. From there, go to your API service and then click on credentials, new credentials and select OAuth client ID and you will get your ID and secret from there. Okay, so once you have it, just click on connect and then you will be connected to your BigQuery and you're already in your AWS account and supposedly you already have configured your S3 bucket. So in destination, you will select S3 and that's it. Another thing you can do is you can, um, once you have, so this is uh, what I was saying. So this is the BigQuery and this is the S3 bucket. This is an image from AWS blog and I will drop the link in video description too. So on the bottom, you can see that you're select, selecting all your S3 bucket where you want the data to go. Once that's done, another great feature is the field mapping. You can map the field, you can even put in some formula, you can even do some of the ETL, data transformation, modification on the fly as the data comes in. You can do bit advanced thing like aggregation and partition, and you can put in some validation test too. And then if you receive, a, uh, you can take, uh, sorry, you can create any triggers if you receive any invalid data, very handy. Okay, um, once that's done, that's all you need to do. Afterwards, just click on run app flow and it will run your flow and you will start getting data in S3. It is as simple as that. Try it out if you are looking to do your uh, BigQuery to AWS migration. And if you face any issues, put it in the comment and I'll be happy to help out.
Thanks for watching and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.